Welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here, and I'm bringing you a video. You see the title. You see the little picture. I'm bringing you a video that shows just some of the many upon many thousands of highlight reels for a one Chris Wilkes. And for anyone that doesn't know, if you're new to the channel, welcome to Cricket for Americans. Stick around. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And again, if you like what you see, we would really appreciate that. But definitely do it if you're a Chris Wokes fan. Because people on this channel, the audience, CFA Nation, they know that I have um, a huge place in my heart for Chris Wokes, the cricketer. I think he's an amazing cricketer. And the thing I love the most about him is he is such an underdog. He's such under, you know, revered. People are not shouting from the rooftops as consistent as they should be for one Chris Wokes. People forget. This guy's name is Captain England. All right? He's the Avenger that Marvel doesn't want you to know about, just like he's the IPL star the Delhi Capitals don't want you to know about. I'm convinced that there is stock footage that we do not get because of the Chris Wokes antitrust of Chris Wokes, Chris Evans fighting side by side against Thanos. I believe it's out there. I just have not seen it yet. That's the Avengers movie I want to check out. But I mean, this guy is unbelievable. In my short cricket watching career, I have noticed very easily how impressive this guy is. 38 test match, 112 wickets. I'm sorry about that. No, I'm not. Four times he's got fifers. 106 ODI matches, 155 wickets. Three times he's got fivers. I mean, this guy is the man at first-class cricket. Only 21 fifers in his career. Jeez Louise. Four times, 10 wickets in a match. He's got the record. He's got the career. He's 32 years old. People are calling an old man woke. He's injured right now, which is why I refuse to watch any of the Phoenix matches, even though that's the team I'm rooting for for the 100. I think Chris Wokes is quite impressive as a cricketer. And it's not just a joke. It's not just because I'm trying to get under people's skin by saying it. I truly believe that. And so I'm so excited to be able to check out this Chris Wokes video. And Shy is how I'm going to pronounce your name. Please let me know if I'm saying it wrong. He's got a Patreon request. Thank you so much for being a Patreon. He's sending several Patreon requests, Shy. We're going to try to get as many as we can through the months and through the weeks as we can. But you know I'm going to react to this one. It says, please react to Chris Wilkes' best performance at Lords. I was just at Lords today. Not really. <laughs> Streamed a match from the 100 that was being played at Lords, the Spirit, and the Rockets. It's hallowed ground. If you can make it there, you can make it everywhere. And so I'm going to watch this video from the, the Lords Cricket Channel. And it's a shame because this video has been out for almost a year. Nine months. 8,000 views? Like, why is there the anti-Chris Wokes trust out there? The anti-trust. Why? What has he done to you besides been a star, right? So, it is what it is. I'm going to be checking out this video. I hope you like it. Like I said, please help us out. Like and subscribe. You've watched so many of our videos. You haven't subscribed yet, so go ahead and do that. And then you're good to go. Good luck for the rest of your life or something like that. All right. Let's check out this, this uh, beauty here. The highlights, not the man. Here we go. What a beautiful piece of bowling that is from Chris Wokes. Say it again and again. It's true. He bowls it so well that even Barristow can't drop it. Woo. Did you see that? <laughs> That was pre-beard Chris Wokes. Board legend. Absolutely a legend. Can't tell this guy's not revered by his teammates, too. Again, he didn't drop that one either. The first wicket for England. It was a fine edge as Shan Masood pushed off the back foot but straight into the house. Sorry, Pakistan. Sorry, Ozjohn. Had to do it. In the air. Oh, he's gonna catch this one too! Oh! That was like a pre-bulked up bear still, it looks like. Pre-Hulk. There you go. 
I'm not gonna say it. Ooh, what? A little teeny tiny tippy tap edge. Gabe, you know you like that one. He's like, man, good thing they don't play this guy too much because he's amazing. And I'm talking about domestic leagues. Putting the pressure on the bowlers. But one's too often. A short ball that really deserves. He's dangerous. He's cut it straight to That's the Pfeiffer. From Chris Wokes is because he's got five. Ooh. He's going for more. <laughs> it's not done yet. He's got six wickets. The whole team has eight. He's got six of them. Pakistan's busting with the 310. Oh, imagine what that score would be. The next, uh, the next innings here. That, that was a great catch. He followed the entire time with his eyes. Get the appeal. Yes! He got it for the appeal. <laughs> he got it just for the appeal. Am I? I'm convinced. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's close. Thank you, umpire's call. One time I don't hate you. That was the appeal. Wow. He's got half their wickets right there. He's got half their wickets. Pakistan fans, you hate Chris Wokes. You have to. Get that Pfeiffer. Give it to him. The appeal. Yes! You cannot deny Chris Wokes if you're an umpire. So here's a different match against India, 2018. Is Nick a bigger fan of India or Chris Wokes? I decline to answer that. Oh, this is this is Wokes the batsman. Short wide four. Short wide four. What was that? That might have been a bit of luck. Fitty. Yeah, not the shot he wanted to do it with. Wow. Oh. Get my ball. I love this guy on the mic. A few shots in my locker as well. Oh man, perfectly placed. Is he going for the century? Him embarrassed to look at that. Both at night. Oh, that was like a baseball shot. Go, baby, go, baby, go. Are they going to get four? Oh, they might get four. Ashwin, what are you doing? Oh, they got three. That's century. That's a century. I mean, it speaks for itself, does it not? The footage speaks for itself. That was a nice catch. Gabe, can you believe this? One-handed! <laughs> Bear still loves Wokes. Sorry, this is against Ireland. Sterling. Oh man. Was this that match where Ireland scored super low and then England scored super low? Oh, he's he says no. Oh, how dare you say no to Chris Wokes? You're gonna regret that. Yeah, yeah. Get some of that holder action going on. You're gonna regret that, umpire. You don't deny Chris Wokes me awesome appeal. Roots even telling him that. I think he said that. How dare you deny Chris? Oh. Ooh. It's just barely. Yep, yep. Told you. I told you you're going to regret it. 
Joe Root, one of the best hands in the business. Pfeiffer. This might have been that match for Ireland. Oh, Ireland. How dare you? He ran into a buzzsaw. Oh, and for good measure. 38. That was it. I want to say it was the next innings that in or that England went out for like 58 or some nonsense. Oh, no, no. That was the win. So this one I'm in the match where it happened previously. I don't remember. They won by 143 runs, though. Man, so if you're Ireland and you would have got 180 some odd, you would have won. Man, think about Chris Wokes. And that's and that's the problem. Like in all seriousness, I, I love um louding Chris Wokes' name because there's a lot of people that don't agree with me. And and there's some weird part of me that I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But in all seriousness, you see what the man has. And yes, we can put it. I see Ben Stokes' package right there. Um, you can put a bunch of different people's packages together and say, oh, look how good they are. But this is at Lords. This is at, like, this is the place where cricket was conceived for crying out loud. Not really, but maybe. You see what the guy has. He can bowl you a fifer, a six for sixer, a six for several times. He can get you a hundred. He can get you a half century. I saw him get 80. Um, last summer, man of the match. He's an all-rounder in every sense of the word. And he's underutilized. When they go away from England, they don't even think about Chris Wokes. It's like Rudy going down the roster sheet. No, I'm not going to see my name on there. I don't know why. This guy can get it done and imagine where his career would be. And I'm sure this is true for a lot of guys. If he would have gotten more chances overseas. I don't care about one performance or two performances. This guy can get it done. And if you're able to get it done in a hollow ground like Lords is or like Yankee Stadium Major League Baseball, right? I don't know what the equivalent would be in the NFL. Maybe Cowboys Stadium, but I don't know. A lot of people score a lot of points there. If you're able to get in those hallowed grounds, then that means you're able to handle the clutch. Your name should be even extra elevated. So give this guy some love. Jump on the Chris Wokes, Chris, Chris Wokes bandwagon. Let's all hope and pray that he comes into the Birmingham Phoenix so they can win a championship so everyone can see that I was right. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for Shay for being the patron. If you want to be a patron, look down below and see if your request will be met. It will be. It's just a matter of time. Thank you so much. And until next time, adios.